Well, here we are again, and our boys and blue are at it again with a refresh. Man, I don't know how I feel about these refreshes, but it's okay. We've got a Intel refresh coming to us, the Arrow Lake refresh. It looks like they've just added a plus to the name and changed the SKU number slightly. So we have the Intel or Ultra 200S Plus coming up, the 290K Plus and the 270K Plus. And we have some details finally. So let's dive into it. So it looks like they have already confirmed that there is a refresh on the way. It looks like it will only be announced at CES 2026. So we can expect these CPUs as well to be launching next year, 2026 early. And some details have surfaced. So two CPUs that we know of is coming. First is the Ultra 7 270K Plus. And we actually have some benchmarks of the CPU, which is which is awesome. So starting with the first CPU, which has surfaced on the web, we have the Intel 270K Plus. The chip is an upgrade of the 265K and features a higher core count of 24 cores versus 20 cores. So that's a nice little boost up. I'll take four cores above 20 any day. Well, a boost in four cores. That's fantastic. The chip is based uh, around the 8 plus 16 configuration. We can see it down here as well. Confirmed. Cluster 1, 8 cores, 16 cores. And it looks to be a good chip overall. We see it has a clock speed rated at 3.7 with a boost of 5.5 gigahertz. The boost clock is the same as the 265K, but the spec upgrade should provide a decent boost. I agree. With the four extra cores, we should see a decent upgrade. Here's some single core and multi core benchmarks in the Geekbench app. Let me scroll down a little bit further. There's some more information available. So the biggest difference, I would say, is probably the 24 cores versus the 20 cores. It's got the same 5.5 gigahertz boost. And then this is actually quite cool. It's got an L3 cache, so 36 meg versus 30 meg. So we got a little upgrade there as well, which will help. Um, definitely performance increases for gaming and all kinds of apps. Um, so they say here that the CPU was tested with the Lenovo OEM system. Not really excited about all of that. But here we can see where it's placed in current lineups and CPU. So there is the bad boy, the 270K Plus. It ranks just under the Core Ultra 9 285K or 285K, however you want to say it. It's 10 points under that. So that's a pretty decent upgrade. Um, if you look at the pricing differences between these two chips, the 270K Plus actually makes a lot of sense depending on price, but we'll get to that just now. Multi-thread benchmarks, we can look at it. There it is. No. Where is it? The two, ah, here we go. A little bit up. There we go. 270K plus. Again, coming under, just under the Ultra 9 285K. Uh, again, only a, a little bit of points difference between the two of them. Really closing in on the 4900KS in multi-threaded applications. But single core, it seems to be demolishing it. Um, no, sorry, I'm lying. 4900K is still slightly better. This is the new platform, though, so this is fantastic to see the 270K doing so well. And of course, the absolute flagship is coming in the form of the Ultra 9 290K Plus. Now, this is the CPU I think that most people will be getting super excited about. The other CPU that has been reported is the Intel Ultra 200S Plus family. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get more CPUs in this family, but it is the 290K Plus. This chip is expected to retain the same configuration unless the blue team suddenly comes out with a new Arrow Lake S die, and I don't think this can happen. It's very unlikely. So we can expect the CPU to offer the same 24 cores, 24 threads with a higher clock speed and possibly a higher TDP. More than likely, these Arrow Lake refresh CPUs should also include a Core Ultra 5 SKU. Now, that's going to be an interesting one. I think that's where most people are going to be jumping on board. If you're upgrading from the system, perhaps, then it's probably where you want to be um, entering into this new lineup. The lineup looks a lot like a last effort to clear some 
additional 800 series motherboards and this is probably more likely there's probably a stockpile of these chipsets and these motherboards lying around so they want to clear that inventory because the next gen nova lakes are around the corner and they are going to be launching with a brand new second lga 1954 and closer to the time we'll probably get more details around that so the arrow lake cpus are a little bit scattered we have these new ones coming in here and here and it's going to be interesting pricing i think yet to be decided we don't know what they're going to cost but if they can price them similar let's say the 270k if we can price that similar to the 285k or maybe even cheaper and the 290k maybe price that just slightly above the 285k i think we're going to get these cpus to be the recommended cpus and be the best bang for buck in of course the intel lineup and if i can scroll down here which made me laugh gaming performance this one commenter was saying the 9800x 3d 52 core <laughs> it's better than a 52 core nova like it's by intel very funny he's obviously an amd fanboy but maybe he's got a point I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And let's see what Intel can pull out of the bag here just before Christmas. Maybe it is a money grab. Maybe they're offering a better CPU, which they probably should have done the first time around. But let's see what they can do. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.